Hello, I'm Mr. Tobias, mathematics teacher. Uh, today we are going to see or to learn about the three dimensional figures, a topic in form four. Um, and in the subtopics which are involved in this topic are definition of terms, as you can see here, definition of terms. And the second subtopic is sketching of three dimensional figures. And the third one is calculation of angles. The fourth one is calculation of lengths. Another one is surface area of three dimensional figures. And the last one is volume of three dimensional figures. Now, in the definition of terms, we can start by introduction. Whereby here I'm going to answer the question, what is three-dimensional figures? Uh, three-dimensional figures refers to the figures involving, uh, involving three sides, which are length, um, width, and the height. Now, any figure which can be calculated by using three sides is known as three-dimensional figures. And these uh, figures are such as cube, and also cuboid, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and the sphere. These are the figures which can be calculated by using the three sides. Okay, now mm, the most used terms in these three dimensional figures are like a, a point, a point, and also there is a line. All these are terms which are most used in three dimensional figures. Also, we have a plane, a plane, and also we have edge. And also we have vertex, we have skew lines, um, we have angles, and uh, lastly we have slant height. So these are the most used terms in three-dimensional figures. Now starting with a point. A point is a, di a dimensionless constant. It means it has no unit or it has no magnitude. It is just a, a point. Now, let us see an example of this. Form and name two points. Form and name two points. Okay. Now, the solution here will be, you just put a point of any size. For instance, I can put a point like this one. And another one, it can be in this form. And I'm going to name this by capital letters because always we name the points by capital letters. Therefore, for the first one, it can be point A. And the second one, it can be point B. So we have point A, which is this one, and point B, which is that one. And also, in these three-dimensional figures, you can find that maybe three or four lines can meet at one point. So this is a point. So a point is just a magnitudeless point. Okay, we have a line. A line is determined by either two points or two intersecting planes. Now, because we are dealing with uh, three-dimensional figures, therefore, you can find here a line is formed by two different ways. The first one is by two points. You join them, get a line. And the second one is by two planes which intersect. For instance, let us take an example. This is a plane and this is a plane. Now, 
if you intersect these two, if you intersect these two, you get a line here. You get a line starting upward to downward. So this is a line formed by two planes. For that case now, let us see an example here. Show a line formed by two points. A line formed by two points can be can be seen by or can be shown by putting a point here and another point here and then you join. Let's say this is A and this is B. Then you join in the two points. Um, again, show a line formed by two planes. Therefore, we can draw two planes here. The first one can be this one. And this, uh, this is the first one. And the second one can be this one. So, a line A and B, this one, this line, is the one which is formed by this plane and the, this plane with A intersect. Okay, another term is plane. The term plane um, is most known to you. Now, it is a flat surface. Uh, for instance, our table here, it is flat, so this one also is a surface, A is a, is a plane. Also, previously I showed you this one. It is a plane, a flat surface. Now, a flat surface can be determined by either two parallel lines, um, two parallel lines, or three or more points. Here it means you can, you can draw two parallel lines, and then this space is the one which is known as plane. Or you can join the points. For instance, you have three points here, you join them, and then this part is known as plane. So that is the meaning of a plane. Uh, let us see an example on how we can know more about a plane. Draw a rectangular plane and the triangular plane. Now, in drawing a rectangular plane, we must have um, we must have width and length. Width and length. Now, this one is a rectangular plane. This part is a rectangular plane. Again, a triangular plane. You draw a triangle, and then uh, this space or this face is known as a plane. So this is a triangular plane. Triangular plane. Another term is known as H. Now, H is a line where two planes meet. Is a line where two planes meet. Let us see an example here. Show the H by two planes. Show the H by two planes. As I did previously, that if you take two planes, you join them. Now, this one is known as the edge. This one is the edge, made by two planes. Now, by drawing, you can show like this one. You can show like this one. By drawing. So, this is the first plane. And this is the uh, second plane. The first plane and the second plane. So this, this part is known as H. Made by two planes. Okay, another term is vertex. The term vertex means a point or corner where three or more edges meet. That is an edge. Uh, let us see an example here. Example 5. Show a vertex by using several edges. Now, we are going to draw some edges here, which will assist us to understand this concept. Therefore, we have this one. Um, this is a plane. And the, another plane is here. And uh, let's say another plane is here. 
So we have this edge and this edge. If you remember, we have said an edge is formed by two planes. So this plane and this plane form this edge, and this plane and this plane form this edge and this edge. At last, we have this point here. So this one is the one known as vertex. Vertex. A corner. Vertex. A corner. Which is formed by either three or more edges where they meet. Another. Okay, I have already shown you here by this solution. Now, another term is known as the slant height. Slant height is the height of lateral faces, or it's just a slope of a regular pyramid or cone. Therefore, this slant height is mostly denoted by yellow. So, this yellow is known as slant height. Example 6. Show a slant head by a squared pyramid. Now, we can show this one. We can show this one. Uh, a square. Let us draw a square here. A square here. And the, let us put a point here, a common point. It should be by all the lines coming from that square. Yeah. So this is known as the square pyramid. And these lines which are sloped downward are known as slant height. Slant height. Um, the last the last term which I can describe here is an angle which can be formed by either intersecting lines or intersecting planes and sometimes by intersecting plane and the line. Now this one also can be shown here. Example 7, show an angle formed by two intersecting planes. Now you draw two planes. You draw two planes. You draw two planes. Yeah, let us see another plane here. Now this angle made by the two planes. This angle made by the two planes. This plane and this plane.